So I finally got this tire onto my motor hub. And to be truthfully honest, I tried so many ways to get this tire onto the rim. I had the biggest struggle. But to save you guys time, what I ended up doing, as you can tell, is I actually zip tied the tire and collapsed the two edges of the tire together so that it would easily uh, fit through the rim. Now for placing the tire onto the rim it was as easy as stepping onto it. Honestly, I did use my bead breaker tools to first kind of fit it in there but after that what I ended up doing is I just started to step onto the tire all around the rim and now all I have to do is uh, cut these zip ties and the tire is successfully on the hub motor and now we'll see how it fits after cutting the zip tie you gotta be super careful so that you don't cut your tire. So I'm using the tread of the tire to fit in the wire cutters. The wire cutters. I'm just using basic small wire cutters. Um, it's one of the. I didn't think I would ever successfully put on a tire. Because I was struggling for a good two to three days, maybe not three days, but definitely two days on trying to put the tire off my old rim onto the new hub tire rim without ruining the rims themselves and doing it on my own. So this one. There we go. On my own. So, <clears throat> looks like this might actually work out. There we go. Make sure it's, it's on the rim so that it doesn't pop off. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this all over again. I bought, so the zip ties I bought were 24 inches long. Clearly, you don't need 24 inches, but... I didn't know how much, so maybe 14 inches would be, a 14 inch zip tie would be enough. Um, but like I said, tires were completely zip tied all around, as tight as I possibly could. And now, it fits, so the next step, it, the next step is to, uh, Put some air in it. So here's an, an old valve stem I used for my older rear rim. I bought new ones. As you can tell, they're 90 degrees so that I could easily have access to um, putting in the air. I haven't set where I want them oriented yet. But I didn't have enough space here on the hub motor so I bought 90 degree valve stems to have easier access in um, pumping my tires thanks for watching guys